Hi, my name is Brian Benson with James Bean Estate Sales in Oklahoma City. And in the spirit of Halloween, I want to give, give a special Halloween episode of our estate sales show. And when I, when I say that is, you know, normally when we do a sales, you know, sometimes people get creeped out because they know they're shopping in someone's house and the person may have passed away. But really, you know, we, there's really no issue with that. Most of the sales we do anymore, the people really, normally they haven't even passed away. Usually they've downsized or they've moved to assisted living and they're just not taking all their stuff with them. It's very rare that we even deal with a death anymore. And even when we used to deal with deaths all the time, we never ran into ghosts or anything spooky or creepy. But there was one time that we actually did a sell, and it was a little weird in that when we did the sell, when I go to look at the house, the family had let me know that the lady was a practicing witch. And I said, well, what do you mean by practicing witch? And they said, oh, she was really into Wiccan. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, lots of people are into Wiccan, or Wicca. You have to believe, you know, remember at this time, this is the mid-2000s, and in the 90s, you know, with Charmed and, you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, there was lots of people who were real into the New Age movement and lots of people who claimed to be witches. So I really brushed it off, and she was very obsessed with Halloween decor. And the cell was a very cool, interesting cell because lots of Halloween decor, lots of really cool, creepy stuff. But it was, it was a very interesting cell, and I was really excited to do the cell for them because with it being unusual stuff, there's always lots of and lots of buyers who want to see this stuff. So we're coming and buy the stuff. So we're doing the sell and you know, this stuff doesn't creep me out at all, but while we're working, we realize that you could really feel a presence in this house. And when I say a presence in this house, you felt it. I mean, it wasn't just me, there's several other people who were helping us out. They all kept saying the same thing. You know, I feel like she's in there, you know, particularly when her master bedroom, you really felt like this lady was in that room. And it got around, you know, when, when we were setting everything up, we were uh, doing stuff and we noticed that things would kind of move around a little bit and not enough to creep you out, but you, things you'd notice. And while I was working in the master bedroom, I remember bending down to pick something up when I raised up a dresser drawer that I had just bent down in front of when I raised up. The dresser drawer had pulled itself out and I banged my head into this dresser drawer. And it was a little odd because, like I said, we don't run into this types of stuff. But the oddest thing that happened was the day before the sale, another one of my helpers was showing up and he didn't know anything about the house. Nobody had told him anything. He was coming by to take a look at the house before we started, you know, that way he could get acclimated and see where everything was. And he also happened to be someone who claimed to be Wiccan. So he shows up and he walks in the door and he literally just walked in the front door and he comes in and the, he looks at me, he goes like, this lady was a witch. And I said, well, how do you know that? You know, because no one told him that. And he goes, oh, I don't know, I can just feel it. I, I can just feel that this lady was a Wiccan. I was like, okay. So I thought, he's kind of a little bit odd. And he wanders around the house and kind of looks around and he comes out to the backyard. Everybody was, but me was smoking at the time. and. As they're smoking, he walks over to this rose bush and he looks over at this rose bush. He goes, this is where they buried her. He said, they cremated her and they buried her right here. And I looked at him and said, how do you know that? He goes, well, they did. So one of the things that was kind of odd about that was the family member had disclosed to me when, during the initial setup that she had actually said that she had been cremated and buried or they buried her ashes underneath this particular rose bush in the backyard. And I didn't think anything about it until later that week when my guy who worked for me came out and told me exactly where they had actually put her ashes. And I was kind of looking at him because I was very shocked that how would he know that because I didn't tell anybody, but he knew it for a fact and I had been told that too. So that's the creepy thing that happened, probably one of the only creepy things that have ever happened at an estate cell that we've ever done, but happy Halloween and here's your ghost story. So if you'd like to hear more crazy stories about things that have happened at our estate sales or back when we used to own an antique store and an antique mall, feel free to subscribe to our channel or sign up for our email list on our website at jamesbeanestatesales.com and every week you'll get, uh, you'll get an email notifying you of our new videos and also all of our upcoming sales. Thanks.